After three years, damn, it's good to be in Toronto. And for much of that three years, I have been the AEW World Champion. And they have come from far and wide, all shapes, sizes, and styles, to try to knock me off the top of the mountain. They all think they want what I got, but they walked a mile in my shoes. See, being world champion ain't all fun and games. It ain't easy. You got a target on your back. Everybody wants something from you, your time, your energy. You live every day in physical pain. Everybody wants to see you fall. And a lot of guys get there and they can't handle it. They crumble under the pressure and self-destruct some faster than others. The world champion does not have the luxury of being anxious, does not have the luxury of fear or doubt or hesitation or second guesses. Being the world champion is a dirty, dirty job and you gotta be ruthless and indiscriminate. But goddamn, I love this job. That does bring me to our boy, the cowboy, hangman, Paige. Next Tuesday night, Dynamite Hangman Moxley for the AEW World Championship. Yeah, live next Tuesday in Cincinnati. And right there, you see it on the bottom of your screen. It's going to be wild with these two colliding for the AEW World title. But this thing could end up in a fight right about now, it's caliber. I mean, you can see Hangman is not in his gear, ready to compete, nor is Mox, the world champ. We will be making our debut at the Heritage Bank Center next Tuesday night. You still have a chance to join us, AEWTIX.com. Whatever you have to say about me, I want you to say it to my face. No, no, no. Actually, you said it all last week. You said you respected who I was in the ring. You said you respected me as a person. And I would be lying if I didn't tell you that coming from you, that meant the world to me. Because I have watched you for these past three years. And I've come to respect who you are in the ring and who you are outside of it, too. You are a hell of a champion, a hell of a father, a hell of a husband. And there have been times in the past three years when I looked at you and I saw the kind of man I wanted to be. MJF looking on. Remember, MJF holds that chip. He can challenge for the AEW World Championship. You can watch all you want. You better listen. But last week, you shattered the illusions I had about you when you called me a nice kid. Is that how you feel about me, huh? You think I'm a kid? After all the niceties and compliments, you want to call me a kid? Is that how you feel about me? Huh? Answer me. I'm asking you a question. Am I a kid to you? That's exactly what I think about you. I don't think you are the same guy that knocked me off the top of a 20-foot ladder one year ago. Next week in Cincinnati, 
If you get the shot to take me out, I don't think you got it in your guts to pull the trigger. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm not the same guy I was this time last year. I hesitated in May, and it cost me this championship. I went for the trios championship with my best friends, and we failed. And I've had to watch as week after week they seemingly disappear. My old friends, they have disappeared. And for all that I did, I'm left with nothing. I'm left with nothing. So I'm not the same. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I can't sleep at night. I'm anxious. I'm depressed. The medicine is not working, but I am still here because I am a man. I am 31 years old. I'm a former world tag team champion, a former world champion. I've watched my family members be lowered into the ground, and I've brought new life into this world, just like you have. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I've been choked till my face turns blue, and I've been beaten in that same face over and over, and I keep coming back because I am a man. Damn it. So I know what I have to do in Cincinnati, and I don't care if your cousins are there. I don't care if your sister's there. I don't care if your mother's in the crowd. I will beat you within an inch of your life to take this back, the thing that I should have never let slip away. And look at me now. Look at me now. I have nothing. I have a shot. And I have my word. Tuesday, I take my shot, and tonight, I give you my word. I will be the next AEW World Champion. That is my word. And unlike him, I wanted to make sure that I could come out here and tell you that face to face, man to man. It's pretty obvious, Excalibur. The dark side of Hangman just came out, man. And I think Mox wanted that. We may be seeing the best Hangman page ever next Tuesday night in Cincinnati. And Taz, you're right. That's exactly what John Moxley wants. I can't wait till Tuesday night. Live next Tuesday, AEW World Title on the line.